been a very exciting uh, year for uranium and uranium mining in 2023. The price of uranium is up uh, about 35% year to date, which makes it uh, the best performing commodity that we track in the world. Uh, and it's really decoupled from many of the other commodities, which have been more tied to economic growth and concerns about slowdown in, in China. And so what's really driving this, uh, this growth in the price of uranium is a revised forecast that came out two weeks ago in London by the World Nuclear Association showing that the demand for nuclear energy and uranium continues to grow. They expect that over the coming decades, we will see approximately 4% growth per annum, which doesn't sound like a big number, but in terms of the amount of uranium that will be required uh, over the coming de decades, it, it represents a very substantial increase. That is obviously going to uh, really fall on the uranium mining companies to produce more uranium. And that's why the stocks have really started to outperform. They're up about 40% for the year. And it feels like they're, they're playing a little bit of a catch up after lagging the commodity price in the earlier part of this year. And there's a lot of excitement around the uranium stocks because they need to raise new capital to build new mines and, and expand production. Um, we're seeing a number of companies um, perform very well. We're starting to see some, some rotation from the largest cap uranium companies down into the mid and smaller cap companies, which I think is a good sign uh, uh, of sentiment in the sector. And we're definitely getting a lot more inbounds from institutional investors uh, and uh, family offices and hedge funds around the world that are definitely wanting to understand what's going on in this sector. Um, so we think it's a very exciting time. We, it feels like the market is, is going to... to uh, have another leg up. Um, it tends to move in kind of a staircase uh, fashion, and it feels like we've got uh, another leg up to go here.